Hey everyone, Steph here and welcome to The Last Worker Overview. This is interesting, though it doesn't come across as a game, but rather like an interactive film. I suppose that's why it was shown on the Venice Film Festival, so it's one of those. And also it has some interwoven politics, which I always find it weird when a gameplay is mixed up with that. I'm down to see thought-provoking storylines, but they have to be really seamless and can't be the main focus of the game because then it's just not fun. So The Last Worker is a narrative-based adventure game where you're the last living person to find yourself in a distribution center in a world where humanity is being replaced by robots and you travel around with a partner robot on your side. It's really hard to make an intro on it because the concept is very much outside of the box and it's pretty hard to understand what's going on. You're in a, some sort of a packaging center where you're working alone and then you find yourself with someone flying by then you go through the facility with those packages and just dispatch them to the clients like <laughs> what's going on it's one of the weirdest gameplays i've seen in vr it doesn't help the fact that it's releasing on multiple platforms at the same time pretty much everywhere available and going by a track record games like that don't translate well for us because the focus is of course on the pancake versions it's purely story driven so we'll just have to see for the dialogues to come around. The art style is of course cel shaded, kind of high quality as well. Like the scenery seems to be very polished and fully realized so I'm glad to see that. I just don't see myself playing it as a playthrough because it's so bizarre out of everything else I've played so far. The narration really have to came through and that's gonna judge the whole project for me. It's confusing at first but I hope in game it's gonna clear up. <laughs> Let's go to the gameplay. Good screen. I don't want to work here in the first place. Fired? Oh, Mr. Youngo, please, no. I, I, I didn't mean to. I'm, I'm your best employee. Uh, uh. Oh. Oh, oh, it was just a... <laughs> it was just a bad dream. There's some weird like scale things going on, like now we were in the box that we opened. So we're going somewhere. This seems like Amazon. <laughs> So we're literally just collecting packages. Oh. There's 
stone mission of the second person. Oh, ooh. She got pregnant. <laughs> it's really cool animation, anyways. What the? You start seeing things. I'm Skew. Odd things. I'll be your cobot today. Uh, hang on a sec. Where am I? This is not... I'm not supposed to be here. Hello, young explorer. I'm Skew, short for Stock Keeping Unit. SKU. <laughs> get it? Yeah, I get it. Now, can I have my controls back, please? Since this is your first day at Young Old, I'm here to teach you all the basics. Okay, Skew, I've been here for 25 years, but... It's never easy training for a new job, but that's what I'm here for. <laughs> Looks like someone needs a reset. Sorry, can you break something if I don't want one in time? You're Pray glitching one, again, one. Skew. I don't, I don't need a lesson. Pepper. I know I what I'm doing. One. The day one tutorial is mandatory, I'm afraid. <sighs> Come closer. I think you need a reset. Uh, threatening a Yunkle employee is strictly forbidden. Come on, you know you need a punch. <laughs> Security! Hey, whoa, whoa. I'm just trying to help you. Okay, you know what? Screw it. Carry on. I could use a break. That's so... interesting. Great. But first, let's learn how we get around, shall we? Huh. Okay. All right. Place your hand on the big stick on your left. Just right there, on your left. And hit the gas. So how does it feel holding a big long stick in your hand? <laughs> Pretty good, huh? Hey, can we just cool it with a creepy sexual innuendo? Okay, good. Now, jerk it around a bit. Give it a good old jerk. Skew, stop. You got it. So, that leads me to the big question. What is it that we do at Yungle? Oh, uh, oh yeah. Uh, we deliver... We deliver dreams. Repeat after me. We... We... Deliver... Deliver... Dreams! We deliver dreams. So, let's make someone's dream come true. Let's go get our first product, shall we? Sure, yeah. Full steam ahead, Captain! <sighs> I forgot how painful this tutorial is. You didn't explain to me how to turn. Okay. With a left thumbstick, whatever. Oh, what is this on his back? <laughs> the cell shading is fine, but it's not of a high quality. Like, it's some blurriness to it, and it's done on a big scale. Like, it feels big, the environment. But it's not as polished as I would think it's gonna be. Still nice. Did you know JFC-1 is the largest fulfillment center in the world? We're almost as big as Manhattan. Manhattan went underwater years ago, buddy. Great! That means we're bigger now. Oh, yeah, great. So much to celebrate. In a place this big, how do we find a product, you ask? Am I supposed to say something here? Good question. You need GPS. GPS is your friend. Because I want to always be here to hold your hand. You won't? Oh my god, whatever will I do? No. Oh, you know I'd love to, but there are thousands of new explorers for me to teach. <laughs> I'm sorry to break it to you, but I'm the last one. You're welcome, you okay there? Everybody. You sure you don't need a reset? It'll help, I promise you. I do, I do. See that arrow on the map? That's you. 
and the shiny dot, that's your next product. See it? Uh huh. But don't worry about the map. The GPS will save you all the thinking. Yeah, who'd want to think on the job? JFC-1 is so huge, our first product is way above you. So grab the horizontal handle on the right and lift it up to soar up. Can you sound any more condescending? <laughs> but we're not descending. We're going up. But why not manually? Like, we have so many controls here. It feels also Jupiter gradish, like how things big are, because this is definitely not a human scale. Like, I don't know, are we giants or something? Look, isn't it just beautiful? Millions of miles of boxes, each one containing a dream come true. That's what we live for, delivering dreams. Yeah, we've established that. It's easy to marvel at the wonders of Yungle, but remember, here at Yungle, time waits for no man. You can say that again. It's easy to marvel at the wonders of... There it is. Your first product. No one forgets their first product. We've marked it with a green light for you. See? Up here. But how do I go back? I missed it. Hey, Kurt! Look over here! Now this is where it gets fun! To pick up your product, point, and squeeze the trigger. Look! I'm up here! Now reel it in. It's just like fishing. All the fish in the sea must be dead by now. Now gently place it on your pod. Easy does it. And release. What a happy ending. Great job! Now, let's take it to the nearest dispatch point. That's the blue dot on the map. Ooh, got it. Follow me! This way! The door's wide open. And broken. It's closing. Shit. Um, okay. Hit the boost when moving. Shit. Look at, <coughs> look at all that dust. I'm not sure we're supposed to be here, Skew. That's right. Go and find the dispatch point. No, what I meant is this area should be off limits. At <laughs> Yungle, there are no limits. Not even the sky. Okay, explorer. Go explore! Sweet, sweet silence. We have like a recycling thing. But this is the dispatch, I'm assuming. I don't necessarily enjoy the lack of interactions, like, it's very minimal. You just hold things and then steer with your buttons. So it's 50-50. Not you again. Oh, but it is me. I know, Skew, I was just... Uh... Look at the dispatch point. Big and blue and hungry for products. Go chuck it in, buddy. Like that? Boom! Swiss! Oh, look. Baby VR glasses. Girly pink edition. That's a bit sexist, isn't it? <laughs> I don't think it's sexy. I think it's lovely. I said sexist. You've just made someone's dream come true. How does that make you feel? Off. It makes you feel off? No, no, I'd like to. I'm sorry? I'd like to turn you off. Oh, look! Our next product! Race you there! Whee! <sighs> what is going on? I'm so confused about the concept. You're not looking too good. But I want to open it. I, I, I don't get snow in my pants. Don't worry, I'll take it from here. Ooh, it's vibrating. 
and displaying the target weight and size. Is that right, Skew? <laughs> That's right. And I gotta make sure it matches the info on our dashboard. And, sure enough, it does. So, we're good, right? Oh, no. We're not? <laughs> the product's damaged. Just like you. <laughs> you want me to tag it? Gotcha. The what? Okay. No. Now point it at the box and shoot. One of my cream pump. Recycling. Recycling. Red dot on the map. Got it. Hey, I think you went the wrong way. Oh boy. Hey, Skew, I'm here. Ready to recycle. So many controls. Wind up guitar. And off to recycling we go. That's the red dot. You just did that bit, Skew. What? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Poor bastard. I remember this bit. We are nearly there, young explorer. Young. Yeah, that's me. Congratulations on getting this far. You're almost ready to join Young Company, the greatest company on Earth. But first, you have to pass one final test. There's one more product waiting for you right here. Don't let me down. I would hate not to hire you. <laughs> you have hired me. I'm not supposed to... What? What? The product's moving. This is... you. It's my product! Stop! Okay, well, it's time to end anyways. Um, I'm confused. <laughs> I think the overall product, if you will, <laughs> is here. It's just that it's probably not for me in terms of the mechanics. Like, I'm not very interested in the gameplay. There seems to be some kind of storyline, so it's not like a film. It's a just proper game. The controls are minimalistic. I also don't know why I can't go back with a card. Just to make things like smoother. <laughs> a lot of pressing buttons, not many interactable stuff besides this shooting, grabbing thing. For a multiple launch as a port to VR, it's okay. Not like overly amazing, but there is some stuff going on for sure. If we're gonna continue this, I don't know. I have a lot of stuff to do now. It's just the audience for this project is unknown to me. Though some people might still play it, so it's okay, <laughs> like, I don't know.